Catastrophe! You came back! Oh, I just knew that your death was non-canon. Wait, why are you looking at me as if I were an arm cast? Well, the time has finally come. The Pet Cemetery remake has now hit theaters, and, of course, I went to go see it. Now, as you obviously know, if you've been following me, Pet Cemetery is by far my favorite Stephen King novel of all time. So, did the remake meet my expectations? Well, let's see. You all should know the plot, but if you don't, let me fill you in. The plot of the story revolves around a family who moves into a new house in the, in the country. All seems happy at first, until they discover a sinister presence in the woods. A presence that has the power to influence the dead. Now, my main problem with the original is that it followed the book too well. In fact, pretty much everything that happens in the book happens in the original as well. So it lost a lot of suspense points because of that. This, however, added its own twist and still managed to capture the horrifying spirit of the book. Oh, and the Wendigo is in it too. You don't see it much, but the obscurity is what gives the monster its creepiness. Oh, and in case you're wondering, the major plot change where Ellie dies instead of Gage does nothing to hurt the film in any way. The point of the story, point of the story is to capture the tragedy of loss and how far one is willing to go to see their loved ones again. No, that was not a spoiler. Everyone knew about it before it was even out, including me. And yet, I was still in suspense while watching, so no need to worry. The first half is a little slow, but it has a decent build. However, the first, the slow first half is saved by the psychotic second half. At a somber, spooky end, spooky end, and you get a plot that's an A plus in my book. Next category is acting. I thought the acting in the first half was okay, however it seems like it takes off in the second half. Actually it seems like everything takes off in the second half. However, what I love is that they didn't try too hard to seem like a happy family. You see, in the original the opening was too cheery and happy, which made it seem unrealistic in a way. The remake, however, gives you the impression that the family loves each other, but also gives you the impression that they have their disagreements as well, but care about one another, about each other despite that. However, the second half is where most of the horror, is where most of the horror plays off on the acting. The terror on each hapless character's face is so real that you end up becoming not only scared for yourself, but also scared for them. However, I have to give invigorating pro props to Jate Lawrence, sorry if I said that wrong, wrong. The girl who played Ellie Creed. She does a very good job at playing a girl who starts off as a curious youngster troubled by the complex rules of life. In fact, she reacts just like how a regular kid would, who's just discovered one of the hardest parts of, the li of life. Death. But also does a fantastic job at playing a seemingly innocent girl who might look normal at first. But it gives the idea that whatever is controlling her corpse isn't human. He's seen the original. When Gage, Gage came back from the dead, he still, despite the killing and stuff, behaved in a manner, that, manner a regular toddler would. Well, a naughty toddler. In fact, Gage seemed more like a, more like just a troubled tot, tot who needed a timeout rather than a, rather than a corpse controlled by a monstrous creature. However, in the remake, Zombie Ellie was horrifying. In fact. She even did another thing that I th that I really liked in the book. Tell her victims that she knows about their dark secrets, which instantly gave her more fear power. I give acting an A-. Finally, directing. Kevin Colch and Dennis Woodmeyer do a solid job at giving us a retelling that has everything which made the original story good. They also did a good job at capturing the ominous atmosphere of the burial ground. In fact, it seems like they listened because the burial ground is very eerie and actually does seem cut off from the world, which is more than necessary since the place is what sets the film's horrifying plot in motion. Also, Zelda's back. 
You don't see much of her, but you definitely hear her, and that gave her a lot more creepiness points. Particularly, the scenes where Rachel hears her upstairs, which is so much more scarier than it sounds. I give directing an A. Overall, the Pet Cemetery remake is riddled with jump scares and has a beginning that might be tedious to some. There's also some scenes that were unintentionally funny, such as when Zombie, El Zombie Ellie loses her shit while dancing and has a temper tantrum. It's obvious the director's meant for it to be scary, and it does have an edge, but it was kind of hard not to laugh at at the same time. However, if you look past the jump scares, unintentional comedic scenes, are patient with the film, and focus on the build-up, you're in for a hell of a fun, scary ride. It has a very scary premise that is set in motion by a very heartbreaking tragedy. It's easy to feel bad for the parents when they lose their little girl, which only makes the premise even more hair-raising. If you're one of those audiences who hated it, I respect that, because there are a ton of jump scares, so I can see why you had a, such a negative reaction. However, you, if you hated it because real-world logic isn't applied, which I'm sure some people will complain about, I have, then I have some advice. When it comes to horror, having a, set, a suspension of disbelief is more than required to enjoy it. You have to throw away, throw away everything you know about the laws of physics, science, logic, and whatever, and just have an open mind. Anyway, I give Pet Cemetery an A-. minus. So, do I prefer the original or a remake? Well, both are good, but of course, the remake dominates the original in my book. But neither are as, are as fantastic as the original source material. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content.